All right, we're doing this. Here are five powerful skills to make you a rock star in DaVinci Resolve. And these are the type of skills that will make you a dangerous creator. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, starting off incredibly simple, this is how to create animated text along any custom path. Now, obviously start by creating a new fusion composition and placing it right into your timeline. And inside of the fusion window, we can add a text node and then connect it to media out. And from here, you can type out your text and style it as needed under the inspector. Now, to make this follow a custom path, go to layout and select path. You know, you have to make your own path in life sometimes by using the pen tool right here. And then you can hold shift on your keyboard to draw a straight line. And when you're done, you can animate the position on path. Or if you don't like keyframes, you can just type an equal sign inside of the box. And then you're gonna go ahead and type time forward slash 1000. And this will animate your title along the path. And if you like, you can go ahead and add some spaces and copy and paste your title several times to create some really cool designs. Now that we can create a custom path for our text, the next important skill is creating custom motion graphics that can also be repeated forever. So you can easily create custom shapes with the polygon node and you can adjust each point as needed. We can also uncheck solid right here and increase the border width to make some stroked objects. Additionally, you can use the other shape nodes uh, and add it to your tree to build out a truly custom object. Now, to easily duplicate this, we're gonna wanna add a merge node and then add a background node. And you're gonna wanna set that background's alpha channel to zero. And then you can follow up by adding a transform node to the tree. And for additional nodes, hold shift space and this will bring up all the available nodes in Resolve. And you can type in duplicate and add that to the tree as well. Now with the duplicate node, you can increase the number of copies and offset the center value by a touch. However, when we use the transform node to animate or move the center X, our graphic is gonna be cut off because of the size of the project. To fix this, go to that background node under image, uncheck auto resolution, and then increase the width to a high number. And then to fix the sizing of our view here, we're gonna wanna add a merge node and then another background node to the tree like this at the end. And finally, you can animate the center inside of the transform to have this duplicate endlessly. And to save you endless time and headaches, we've developed over 400 templates and seamless transitions right here for DaVinci Resolve with our editor's motion pack. You can instantly preview and drop beautiful transitions right on top of your footage. And you can also use from over 200 professionally made templates, whether you need call out, lower thirds, or just regular titles. You can check out the entire pack in the description below. And if you do pick it up, you'll be supporting this channel and this content. So thank you very much. All right, back in this, the next powerful skill to know is how to create 3D text that will impress that didn't rhyme but add a 3d text node and when you type out your title nothing will happen uh, not very impressive but we need to add a render 3d node to the tree so resolve knows to render our title now we can go to the extrusion options here increase the depth and even the bevel as needed and to stylize the text you can go to shading uncheck use one material and then change the bevel material as you wish additionally if you want light and shadow we're going to want to add a merge 3d node in the middle of the tree like this and connect and then search and connect for a directional light to the merge and when you're ready to fulfill your purpose check enable lighting and shadows inside of the renderer and you know i don't feel so good so back under shading for the 3d text we can adjust the specular options to use this light the best and that looks good but this is just a title there's no animation so to animate your text right click inside of the character panel and select follower then go to the modifiers and you feel free to animate any of the properties that you want you can have the title rotate or even you know fly onto the screen but most importantly when you have your animation figured out adjust delay under timing to have your characters animate on individually very cool bro duck <laughs> all right let's expand on the topic of 3d and utilize the skill of creating 3d depth with your motion graphics which allows you to create parallax and that natural out of focus look now if you have some graphics such as photos or videos you can drop them right into fusion and the node will just be a media in to work with your graphics in a 3D space, you're gonna need to add an image plane 3D node and then of course the renderer 3D node. The image plane is basically saying that we wanna work with our graphic in 3D space. 
To throw in other graphics, we need to add in a Merge 3D, and then we can add the graphic with an image plane and of course a Merge 3D like this. Now that we have multiple objects, we can select one of the image planes, go to Transform, and bring forward that Z translation. And now as you can see, we officially have some depth. So feel free to build out your scene with your graphics or with the free included project file and then adjust their Z translations to create that depth. You can also copy and paste notes if you wish to use say the same objects. Uh, and to animate through the scene when you're done, you're gonna wanna add a camera 3D node and then attach it to your final merge node. Coming from After Effects, I would like to set the camera's focal length to 50 millimeters. And then you can simply add keyframes for Z translation and animate the camera through your scene like so. And for a pro tip, you can use the spline panel to edit the speed of your camera's uh, keyframes, uh, which is just beautiful. And lastly, if you wanna add that cinematic depth of field, go to the renderer and set the renderer type to hardware render. Then enable accumulation effects and the depth of field. Feel free to mess with the quality and the blur amount to dial in what you need. And also on the camera node, you can adjust the focal plane to just perfect that depth of field. All right, congratulations, we've made it to the last skill, which is probably the most important, which is camera tracking your footage so you can insert images or graphics onto your clips. So make your video clip a fusion composition, and then you can plop in a camera tracker and then check bi-directional tracking, and when you're ready, click auto track. And when that's all said and done, go to solve and click solve. Then you can go to export, drop down the 3D scene transform and set this to unaligned. Then go to the area that you wanna insert your text or graphic and then drag select some points. From here, you'll need to click set from selection and click aligned. Now you can export. Then you get this updated node tree, which you'll need to disconnect that original camera tracker and then reattach the media out to the final node. With the setup out of the way, you can finally say add a 3D text node to the Merge 3D. Or if you have an image or another type of graphic, you can add an image plane, a merge, and then finally your graphic like so. And that's how to camera track your footage right here in Resolve. Subscribe to be the best and always be creating.